So let me get this straight. If a woman picks up a belt or a stick and she assaults a grown woman of the same age, she will go, she will go to jail for assault or for attempt of, attempt of murder. But if that same woman has a boy that she gave birth to and she used a belt on a boy, it's discipline. And in the black community, they will say, ah, oh, you should be respectful to your mama. Beware, there comes mama with the belt. I've heard such things from people in the black community. I'm thinking, what? Hold on. So a woman is frustrated. She can't handle her emotions and she takes it out on a human being who's smaller than her, who can't defend himself but she won't face why she's frustrated? Okay, so if her will is frustrated, why doesn't she pick up a belt against her boyfriend that she's sleeping with, or her husband that's out of line? Why isn't she picking up a belt against her boss at work who goes too far? Why doesn't she pick up a belt against the politicians who are lying all the time? She won't do that, but her son, she has the right to release her frustrations on? What for sick thinking is this? What sicker is that many black folks enable this behavior? All black folks around, when something like this happens, should pick the woman, put her aside, and tell her, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Huh? You wanna fight? We will arrange a fight for you, but you're not going to do this. Does that happen? No. A lot of black folks remain silent and they enable such, such sick behavior. And many of those black men, when they are older, they defend such monsters. Yes, I call them monsters. Anyone who releases their frustrations on their offspring just because they want to face themselves, they are cowards and they are monsters. Such folks ought to be labeled for what they are. People say, oh, you shouldn't label people. Well, if someone is a monster, they are a monster. They can. They can change and be better, but they need to repent. They need to comply with justice. You're not going to enable a reprobate with, with comfort. That's what they're doing in the black community. And then you ask why so many black men have anger problems. Well, here's one of the reasons why. You have a lot of cowardly you have a lot of cowards that give birth to black men, but those cowards aren't dealt with by the black community. And when things go out of hand, and someone from another ethnicity harms one of the black people, then they now they want to ride on the streets Black Lives Matter. That boy whose mother used a weapon on him because a belt, when you use a belt to unleash a frustration, that belt's a weapon. You can even kill someone if you use a, a belt a way too hard. That boy who was assaulted by his own parent, he needed help. He needed sympathy. We allowed it to go. We allowed it to happen. And now you have a generational cycle of narcissistic abuse that's going on in the black community. And folks aren't facing it. Well, I'm facing it. I'm telling it as it is. Why am I doing this? It is, it is because... I want black folks to be delivered. That's what I want. And this is not going to happen if black folks don't face the truth. And I'm saying it as it is. Any female using their sons or daughters or any of their offspring as a target of her frustration is a coward and should be treated as such, and should be avoided at all costs. And here's the thing, now you have black men also staying with such women. I mean, what? So you are willing to stay with a creep that's willing to kill her own offspring to be at ease, and you're comfortable with that? Look, this isn't just about the black community, okay? throughout mankind you have such sick, 
such sick things happening. It will only stop when people point out the truth, like I'm doing here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit down and allow such things to pass. I'll judge it. I'll decree on it. I'll take action spiritually against it, as Christ expects of me. Among Europeans, you have similar things, but more on the emotional level, where women think they have the right to debase the men in their lives often also their own offspring. Well, you know what? This is what I decreed concerning me. Any female creep that thinks she can will whatever she wills concerning our Edosset, she'll end up as Queen Jezebel of the Old Testament. I'm not talking about the demonic entity Jezebel. I'm talking about Queen Jezebel in Old Testament, the wife of Ahab. How did she end up? I decree Every female creep that thinks she can will for free around here, she'll end up just as Queen Jezebel or worse. It's only when you enforce Christ centered judgments that such cycles of generational narcissistic abuse will stop. Because, listen, those creeps, most of them are not going to change. They're reprobates. Some may change, but many of them will never change. So, the, so repercussions are needed. And listen, any woman using a weapon on her offspring, you're a coward. And if you're watching this video and you're doing that, you're a coward. And I say it right to your face, in real life you are a coward. You're the embarrassment of the most high. Yeah, that's what you are. And where you'll end up is in the lake of fire. The most high is not going to put up with you. No, he won't. Neither will, neither will I. And as I mentioned before, you want to have an attitude? You'll end up like that Queen Jezebel. That's how you'll end up. I decree it in Christ's mighty name. That's the only prayer you'll, you'll receive from me. Creep. Well, for those who aren't creeps, I agree with Christ. Be at peace.